Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about uh, something what I'm hearing right now on the news and it's being promoted even from uh, our, uh, you would think, a conservative side. Um, and uh, the people are basically saying that uh, yes, we need the uh, mental screening and the men mental certificate, uh, mental health certificate before you will be able to purchase the AR-15 or the AK rifle. And I just want to give you the story uh, from how it was done under the socialism regimes. Basically under the communism, socialism, same shit uh, in my eyes. But when the opposition fighters were questioning the government, uh, one of the tricks used by those socialist governments were, was to declare them mentally unstable. So if you are questioning the socialistic paradise, you have to be crazy and they were locking up people uh, in the mental institutions and then of course you had absolutely no rights, no nothing, uh, you were stripped from your rights as a citizen. Uh, and that happened uh, in, uh, in uh, the countries under the communism, under the socialism. Now if you think that the liberals, when they will get into the power, will not use this to prevent you from uh, owning the rifle, think about it, you will fill out the application and uh, go see the psychiatrist and you will say, uh, you know, I want to own AR-15. And they can say, basically, you have to be mentally crazy. You are crazy that you want to own the gun. And uh, that's it. That's pretty much. Let it sink, guys. Let it sink and think about it. I'm all for the solutions. I agree. I have two kids uh, in schools too and I'm afraid for their safety. Uh, but uh, using the, uh, you know, looking for some sort of the mental uh, screening certifications, uh, you have to be very careful how this is going to be laid out uh, because uh, the power like this always could be abused. And, uh, you know, the moment we are going to lose the Second Amendment uh, because of the, some conditions which the politicians are putting in place. Uh, it will be a sad day for all of us. Uh, going back to the First Amendment, do you need the permission from psychiatrists uh, to express yourself uh, and to have a freedom of speech? No, you don't. This is the Second Amendment and this is how it, it was done. You don't like it? you know, start the political process and uh, repel the Second Amendment. But as of right now, that's the law. And the Second Amendment guarantees, you would think, guarantees uh, for us the access to the AR-15, to the AK rifles and to all other rifles. By the way, note that during this video, none of those guns walk out and start shooting on their own. I wonder why.